Welcome to the video we've prepared that shows how to install a Round Grove product. When you order it pre-finished from our factory, it comes with 95% of the work is done, but there's just a little bit of work you've got to touch up in order to get it fully buttoned up, and we're going to outline what that is here today. So one of the great things about Round Grove products is how lightweight our products are. We're able to maneuver these with some backyard equipment such as a backhoe here, or a forklift, or a bobcat. Here we're hoisting the chimney extension up onto the top of the unit, and with this additional height on the top of the unit, it brings out the right scale of the product so that you've got a nice chimney stack along with the base. It gives it a good proportion. It's important here to make sure that you've got the appropriate safety. Nobody's under the chimney extension. The guys are holding it away from them and aligning it as it comes in and communication with the driver is also important because what a lot of people don't realize is the driver cannot see what's going on with the unit. So here we're preparing to attach the chimney extension onto the unit. We have steel and steel contact between the two units so we're just fastening those together. We're going to thread the chimney flue pipe down through the opening in the top and that'll align with the anchor plate down below. Aligning these two is probably the hardest thing because you've got an inside flue pipe and you've got an outside flue pipe. So my tip for that is just rotate these around and around and around until finally it'll work itself together. And then you want to make an airtight seal at the top, so we're doing that with mortar here, just filling in the gap between the flue pipe and the magboard so that there's no visible gaps there between the two pieces. And then we attach the chimney cap. There's uh, mounting screws on there that help secure the chimney cap to the flue pipe. I generally make those hand tight, and if there's uh, one that's just a little stubborn, I'll make it a little bit more than hand tight with a screwdriver. And these are pierce point fasteners that we use here too, so it's not actually a full connection between the two. It's just a friction fit, so you need to make this as tight as possible. Now we need to attach the wood box to the fireplace. We do that with connector plates, a small piece of steel. We can get a couple screws into one side and then secure these two units together with some screws on the other side. And that way you've tied it all together. We deliver these sometimes three, four, or five pieces and this is, uh, we use the connector plate to tie them all together. Two places in the front, two places in the back and uh, then, then it becomes one unit. I recommend two screws per side. Next, during the installation, we're putting the stones into place to conceal all of the access panels that we had to have open in order to get our straps in or to get our forklift to hoist this into place. So now we've got the backer board screwed into place and now we're going to finish the field out in stone so you're not even aware that there's a backer board or there's an open access panel in there. So we butter each stone, put it into place and eventually get that entire field filled up with stone and then we come back with the grout bag and butter in the grout lines. This is the most tedious part of the installation. You get down to the last five or six stones, you only have so much room left, and now you've got to start trimming the stones to, to fit. Here we're attaching the cover plate that's already been pre-finished to cover the fork holes that are down in the base of the unit. This looks like it's under the hearth. Since these were pre-finished at the factory, we can just screw those in, and then we'll have a little mud to cover the screw head. Setting the capstones into place now. This is a typical configuration for the caps where we've got four units on there and then you've got grout lines in between. It's also possible to get fitted caps that have no grout lines in there. It's a little more expensive, um, but it's uh, definitely a prettier look without the grout line. Now we're putting the hearthstones into place. Again, these will be individual pieces that will be fitted onto the hearth and then there's a grout line that goes in between. We can provide a one-piece uh, hearth stone as well, so there's no grout lines in between, but there is an added expense for that. Thanks for watching our video of how to finish off the little bit of work you need to do when you get it pre-finished from Round Grove. 
Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook or subscribe to our newsletter to get more information.